Confirmatory factor analysis is widely used method of factor analysis in SPSS for analyzing confirmatory factor analysis. First go to analyze IBM SPSS AMOS and this is the interface of AMOS and select this icon and drag here. Uh, in this model we have two factor, factor 1 and factor 2. We are loading four items to factor 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and factor 2 we are loading three items 1, 2, 3, 4. You can rotate this object and uh, you can move this object with this and uh, now select uh, data file name ok and you will double click here and enter the name of the variable f2 and uh, this is the list of variables attached to the factor 1 and factor 2 you can inspect your exploratory factor analysis these four items are loading to factor 1 and three items are loading to factor 2 now we will attach these ship these items here in factor 2 item number 2 select and drag item number 6 select and drag item number 9 item number 11 and item number 1 2 factor 2 item number 4 to factor 2 and item number 5 select and drag to factor 2 so these are the these are the these are the circles these are the error terms so go to plugin name unobserved variable and here you will select this arrow and attach the factor 1 to factor 2 and uh, go to analyze properties output and you will select here standardized estimate residual moments modification indices covariance of estimates correlation of estimates test of normality and uh, calculate estimate and go to model fit this is the output and p value this is the you will check this value cmin this is the chi square value this value should be less than 3 and this value is greater than 16 uh, greater than 3 and p value uh, should be uh, less than uh, greater than 0 0.05 but here p value is less than 0 0.00 so uh, we will uh, this model is not fit and uh, cmin indicates significant difference between this model and the saturated model if model is not fit then go to the modification indices modification indices here you will check the greater value and greater value in is in m modification indices and my values are here so this one is greater so we will uh, if you repeat the analysis treating the covariance between e3 and f2 e3 and f2 model fit this is uh, not fit because p value is not greater than 0 0.05 and this is little bit close to 3 so we will uh, go to modification indices and here you will see the bigger value is 21 e1 and e7 
so if you repeat the analysis treating the covariance e1 and e7 press the gray button select the arrow e1 and calculate estimate and uh, uh, here you will see based on the prime d criteria all the observed factors had acceptable standard standardized regression values and these values are greater than 0.35 so all values are greater than 0.35 so it meet the criteria and uh, go to output and in um, output of a mouse you will check here the this this value is greater than p value has been greater than 0 0.05 so go to model fit in model fit you will see this value uh, cmin is less than 3 so p value is greater than 0 0.5 so this model is fit and uh, and cfa for goodness of fit indicates uh, GFI this uh, goodness of fit index value adjusted goodness of fit index value and uh, IFI uh, is uh, incremental fit index and uh, CFI is the comparative fit, fit index these are all greater than 0 0.90 so this one is 0 0.9 greater than 0 0.90 this one is greater than 0 0.90 so these values are between 0 0.995 to 0 0.998 this has significant finding and pgfi is uh, is uh, uh, is also uh, appropriate and uh, te this uh, tackle levels index index value is also greater than 0 0.90 uh, and uh, p close is uh, is uh, 0 0.5 uh, th that is also appropriate and uh, AGFI is greater than um, 0 0.90 and PGFI is higher the better and NFI is is greater than uh, 0.5 so this model is fit and uh, and this indicate the model fit thank you hope you will understand this and uh, it would be helpful for calculating the confirmatory factor analysis